Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 9. I've had a little bit of a break, and uh, so I'm going to get back into the swing of things. So let's uh, discuss what we're going to start doing since we've just recovered from this ambush uh, situation. So obviously the uh, dwarves are going to be back into training. The hospital's now uh, sort of getting there. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to build the walls because I wasn't entirely happy with the way it all worked. So I want them kind of to come in a straighter line. I'm going to set up a siege, um, possibly a baluster here or something like that. Uh, and all I've done is just give two uh, ammo slots. Now, uh, siege ammo is actually under uh, furniture, which hasn't been set up for this one yet. So um, we want to uh, enable the furniture. And then we want to go into the type and we want to pretty much take everything else off. Because all we want is uh, actually the siege ammo and uh, arrow heads. We don't want anything else. Um, we don't want sandbags, that's for certain. So uh, obviously make sure that's not highlighted as well. So that's all I'm doing for that. And I'm also going to allow other types of ammo. So possibly uh, archers, etc. So we're going to set that up. So what I'm building here are fortifications. So that's uh, B, capital C, and capital F for fortifications. So for the way fortifications work, you may have uh, read it elsewhere, but... Uh, you can, you can't walk through them. Um, water and magma can pass through them. Uh, so think of it as like a half wall. Um, you know, just like you'd you'd see on a on a castle in the old sort of medieval sorts of times. Um, so yeah, so it's just like a rampart type thing. So it's a, it's like a half wall. Uh, liquid can pass through it. However, uh, animals cannot. Critters can. Um, so if you're, say, using it as magma, which is sort of like the way you drip feed the magma through, um, say lava snakes, etc., they can get through it. Uh, so that's something important to remember for later on. Uh, but uh, more importantly, um, siege weapons and archers can fire through it. Which is why uh, I believe I put them up at the top here and I didn't really explain it, so I thought I'd uh, try and cover over that uh, just in case you, you missed why I was doing it in the first place. Um, so I'm actually going to continue on with that as well, since I forgot uh, to continue building. Uh, so well, anyway, we can we can go back to the later. So we'll get the uh, we're going to get our fortress. So I wasn't entirely happy with the way that obviously things reacted with the uh, defence. Obviously didn't build the bridge up, but uh, I didn't want to leave my uh, dwarfs outside either. So we didn't want to pull the bridge up. Uh, also, I'm going to set the archers up, or or not the archers, my hunters, up in a squad. So that way I can order them around as well. Um, so the way this is going to work now, they're still going to kind of streamline this way, but they're going to sort of come around here. So I may set another little passageway up around this way, um, so they have to really come streamlined down. Maybe set up a catapult, uh, a, a ballista down here to fire up that way, and a ballista there to fire that way. They've immediately filled that with uh, arrows, you can see there. So we need to set up a uh, siege workshop. Um, well, we've got an empty, empty space there, haven't we? So we may as well use it down here so it's a B and the siege workshop is somewhere around uh, in the workshops which is there and the siege workshop is S it's actually a 5x5 five five, uh, building um, so we're gonna put it at the back here get it out of the way uh, we'll make it out of Gabbro as always um, so there we go so to make a uh, uh, ballista first certainly for a siege workshop you need a siege engineer uh, so he'll make that, uh, and you also need um, th you make all the ballista parts to construct the siege engine. I believe for a ballista you need three um, council suit and needs thread. Oh, that's not great. Um, you need three uh, siege parts. So once this gets built, which he's just doing now, uh, we'll go up here and we'll add a new task, and we want to construct ballista parts. So we're going to get three of those, and you can also see you can construct the arrows. Well, at the moment we're only really got wood, so we're going to construct the wooden ballista arrows. Uh, actually, let's assemble them, isn't it? Uh, assemble wooden ballista arrow. Do we need to make them elsewhere. I think we do. So, let me just have a look at my carpenter's workshop. Actually, this one looks like it's cluttered. Uh, da -da 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 just to make sure they, these things here: the corkscrew, the wooden ball, the spike. Uh, pipe section of her various other things. Uh, weapon rack. No, 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 no. We do just assemble it up there, don't we? We don't have to make any other part to it. No, um, I was correct in my original thinking. So, yes, so that's uh, there. And then we're going to assemble the arrow. Uh, assemble wooden ballista arrow. And then we'll perhaps 
do about five or six of those for now. Um, you can't miss the ballista arrows, they're enormous great big things, uh, so hopefully uh, that won't take too long to do. Uh, he's become a siege operator, brilliant. Oh, there we go, so that's the military rotation kicking in there. When you get this little jingle and it starts telling you down the bottom, they're becoming recruits, etc. If we go up to our barracks, they've, uh, I think they've actually moved, but by the sounds of it, they've moved into my burrow. Yes, they are, there we go. So now they're all in this burrow, and there you go, bang, they're already flashing blue. So how long has that been, what? 30 seconds already up to legendary fighter legendary fighter legendary fighter and they're also going to be get their other skills up which will grow very quickly so immediately expert hammer dwarf uh, adept hammer dwarf the, the expert hammer dwarfs and these guys you know they've not been in the military what you know a month two months <coughs> at most um, why has the door not been built there? I thought I was going to build a door. Uh, so they're, now they're growing attached to their steel uh, bucklers, which they certainly will do. Uh, let's get a door either side of that. There's already a building present. Oh, there's already a door there. So, um, But there you go. That is how quick a danger room works. It is so, so simple. Um, and they, they turn very, very quickly. So if we look at this now, we can already see we've got uh, two sword masters and two hammer lords already these guys just you know it which is why if you look on the forums some people will you know have a complaint about it however there's a downside to this if for example I look at my army via uh, dwarf therapist and look at my squad um, I can see that I have one two three four females in that squad now if they were to have babies, which they inevitably will, they will carry those babies with them. I can tell you now that there's only one guy that's not a legendary fighter out of that lot, and there's two legendary hammer dwarves. Um, and there's a lot of legendary shield users. Oh, well, there we go. Bang. Immediately. A kitten just got impaled by the spikes. So that's because if I were to go up the top, I'd probably find out there's a kitten not allocated to this zone now so there's probably been uh, someone born yeah there we go there's a stray kitten um, so th they will get imp impaled straight away and if it happens to be a pet of someone it might upset them a little bit we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, eight goblins that we need to deal with um, we'll be doing with that uh, shortly so yeah, and you'll also get spammed on the combat message, so you can see they're all, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. Uh, I did actually get asked the question, can you possibly do this for your entire uh, fortress? Uh, and yes, you can. You could, uh, so, so obviously for your civilians. Um, if you really want to, you could probably put up two spike traps on the entrance, on repeat. See this guy here, he's repeating. He's keeping the, 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 the traps going permanently. Obviously, they're only going to be in there once a month, so it really only needs to be doing once a month, but we'll just keep them on there. And as you add more squads, you add them on the rotation. Um, but once they're kind of up there, they're going to stay pretty high skill level. Um, but, yes, back to the original thing. You can technically have uh, spikes up there. I wouldn't suggest using ten wooden training spikes. Maybe one or two. If you really wanted to do get everybody up to dodging, the problem is that is you could definitely impale children. Um, uh, you, chances are you may even injure some of your dwarves. Uh, generally, if they've got a cloak, they'll be okay. There we go. Things have uh, quietened down. That's that's because sound sense has crashed. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I thought maybe it uh, they'd they'd moved on. No, they're still there. You can hear them. They're back. Um, we're getting a few uh, item. Missing in a tome, Mis oh, it's misplaced. That's a little interesting. Is that like the cat they just tried to put in there? Yeah, it's the kitten. I can see the kitten's just gone in there. Okay, we're not worried about that. But yes, you, you basically, in a nutshell, yes, you can have it in there, and you could, yes, you could try to clay, uh, train your entire dwarf population uh, with dodging, with making them legendary army users, etc. Mm, wouldn't really advise it. Another way of doing it is maybe to put them all into a military squad, literally everyone, um, and just give them a month stint in there or something, and then then basically release them from all, uh, take take the training schedule off. That would probably be the easier method, is to literally uh, make them a metal users or whatever, give them a 
a month in the death uh, danger room and then release them from their schedule and they'll go back to being normal dwarves back to their normal jobs just change their their squad training their squad s schedule uh, oh, from uh, active inactive to uh, back to inactive and then just let, they'll just go about doing their business so technically you've got all these squads if you need them it's, there's various ways you can do it if you really want to but um I'm not that bothered at the moment got to be honest with you we're a bit of early days for that uh, so, what are we doing? Well, we've got a few error messages coming past saying the stock plants misplaced. Uh, gem cutter cancels place item in tomb misplaced. Is that because I've got uh, a bit Some to... Migrants have arrived. Uh, more migrants? Really? Jesus. Uh, okay, we're up to... Oh, good lord, that's a 20 migrant wave. Uh, let's switch back to uh, migration wave and let's have a look at the labours, see if we've got anyone exciting in here. Anyone replace my dead armor smith? Oh, we've got a reasonable metal crafter. Wow, I've got high master gem cutter as well. I've got two high master gem cutters now. And uh, I was going to show you how to uh, use these um, gem cutters and gem setters, how to get them up by cheesing it using uh, green glass, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to do that now so uh, um, various other people that are not amazing at skills so not an overly uh, exciting migration wave of the game's pause they just realized um, you guys just see that so yeah no, nothing, nothing spectacular with that wave uh, anyone good in the military doesn't really matter because they'll they'll get trained up so fast anyway so uh, we actually have a high master siege engineer. Yes, I do. So uh, perhaps just have him making the siege uh, engine stuff, which hopefully I'll remove everyone else off. So we just have the one man doing siege engineers. We don't really, obviously, it makes better material. Or the the better the skill player it uh, does it. So uh, why is that corpse not moving? That is a very good question. I'd like to know myself. I don't know why. Maybe we allocate it to dump. For some reason it's still there, so we've allocated that to dump. Hopefully someone will come out. It's the same with these dogs, actually. Why are these dogs still there? Dump. Dump. Stray dogs. So. Uh, we've built, I would assume we've built our siege engineer parts by now. Yes, they have, because they've knocked out those. So let's get our siege engine built. So B, and it is around here somewhere, siege engines. And we want a baluster. And we want it around about there. That'll do. It takes up three squares. I've got four. That's less than ideal, but we'll put it there anyway. So you've got to be very careful with these things. So we're going to build it, you need the three parts like I said, so there's the one, and uh, two, three. Uh, so that will get constructed. A uh, guy will come along and build it, shouldn't take him too too long. Hopefully. Uh, I'm actually going to build another corpse area up here somewhere. Maybe just stick it on the uh, outside. Christ, I don't need that many. Well, maybe I will. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't do, actually. I didn't deconstruct this. Uh, you can deconstruct your embarkation area, which is fine. We'll remove that, the wagon. Excuse me if I jump around a bit in this. I'm I'm on a lunch break, and I just thought, you know what? I haven't done Dwarf Fortress since I actually set it all up. Um, so I kind of want to get back on the wagon, as it were. We are looking like we need still yet more pots. I could probably stop brewing drinks for now. We've got 920, so let's cancel those. I think we'll be okay for a little while. We're getting lots of cancel stockpiles, so I'm really interested in why is, why is this. Are we having uh, wooden bin issues, maybe? Let's get a couple more bins out. We really need to get a manager up and running here. It will make things uh, a lot easier. In fact, let's do that now. Let's go down. So that's what I was about to do, wasn't it? So, we want a manager. Have we got anyone that's a decent manager now? Absolutely no one with any relevant skills whatsoever for organisation. That's just magic. 83 dwarves, and not one of them has a bloody clue about organising. So, I'm not going to bother with that yet. Um, no. There's no, there's no reason to. I'm not going to give anyone the, the luxury of having all this fancy uh, items and then not being able to do a damn thing with it. Stick a few doors on here while I've got them. 
you may notice I wander a bit. It's it's more a case of when I spot things, I think, ah, I was meant to do that, wasn't I? Actually, to be honest, I generally do these off camera because once you've seen how to place one door, you've seen them all. Uh, why is that guy flashing question mark? I wonder. Not sure. Lots more bedrooms, I'll place them as well. In fact, you know, I, I need to do them because I've got too many. Um, so, you can see I've started to smooth out the uh, the areas a little bit. That'll just make a few more people happier, as it were. Uh, we need a couple more beds, a couple more bins. General maintenance of the place is all that I require. Uh, these are permarine pots and crafts, that's fine. I'm going to get a load more coffers because I need to do a load more bloody beds. It's just maintenance. Not as exciting as the last one with air attack. Uh, but it's you get to see the danger room in action at least. And let's get up to our... Uh, they do bins, bins. Okay. Um, I'm losing the plot. That's what I'm doing. There we go. So it's set up. Right, okay. So they built the baluster. Here you go. You can see it here. So... Uh, first you can F, you can change the orientation, so um, you can have it facing left to right, etc. Um, you just keep pressing F, you see it says up here, prepare to fire, facing left, fire at will. This is actually changing the action I am, sorry, check the, the, it, now you've got to be very careful. So at the moment it's not in use, prepare, prepare to fire, we'll uh, cock the, um, put the ammo in there and, and cock the siege weapon. Um, Fire at will will just literally, the minute they spot something, someone will run up and go and fire it. Now, you've got to be very careful with that because you can have your dwarves in the way. And unless you've told them to get your asses in the burrow, um, that you may clip a couple of your things. If you leave it on prepared to fire, permanently you'll have someone stood there. We don't really want that at the moment. We can also change the orientation. Obviously, O, change the orientation. You can see it'll move it facing that way, firing that way, firing downwards. We want it to fire that way, so that's fine. Uh, so that's the siege weapon. He's saying farewell. We want to uh, just add a little bit more ammo since we've got another space there. And I'm actually going to limit this one purely to uh, just the siege ammo. Siege ammo actually does take up quite a lot of space. Uh, I want to enable that. I'm actually going to uh, disable that and just have siege ammo. So all we want here is get rid of that, catapult parts, ballista parts, we just want siege ammo, actually I think it may just be ballista arrowheads but we'll keep them both uh, and hopefully that will uh, that will mean there'll be an arrowhead dragged up to there uh, for it, so that's uh, that's that sorted, so I can see there's not, r there's a few actual things there, so I could do with the uh, Oh, there we go. They've just brought a bin up for all the... Uh, I was lacking in the bins. Ah, okay. So our rotations uh, gone. They've all gone back to uh, how they were. So that's been a singular month in our schedule of Defend Burrow. That's all they've had. And now they've gone back to what they're doing. So let's see what they've come out with after a month in there. Really, I mean, they only need a couple of minutes, really. But I can tell you that they are all legendary fighters. Um, they are mainly legendary shield users. That may be for the fact they don't have a shield, some of them. Um, armor users, they are got pretty high. They're all accomplished at, at minimum, really. Uh, dodgers as well, they're all pretty much professional dodgers. So within a month, they're all getting right up there already. Uh, we've also got two um, top-end legendary swordsmen. Uh, hammer dwarves as well. Um, why they're swordsmen, actually? I did tell them all to use hammers didn't I? I asked them. I asked them nicely and I gave them the uniform and I said war hammers. Metal armor use war hammers. So what are they doing? They're disobeying me. That's what they're doing. What's your uniform? War hammers. No, that doesn't tell me his uniform. I want his individual equipment. There we go. Equipment. Oh, there we go. That's why. Um, yes, of course. Of course it is. That's why it is. Because when I set the uniform up, I did it after I set up the squad. So if you go over to the actual squad's individual equipment, you can see that they're still on metal armor with individual choice of melee. I didn't change it because the uniform is now changed afterwards. So I didn't change the whole squad. And now I'm pressing buttons and losing track. So yes, the actual tin evenness equipment, if you're on just the tin evenness, I haven't told them to get the individual 
weapons, I want them to get Warhammers. That's what I wanted the whole squad to get. So now, you p little bastard. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to change them all. Warhammer. Probably not the greatest because I've actually got a legendary swordsman now. So they've obviously found a sword from somewhere. But I'd like them to actually use those silver warhammers that I've got. So we're going to tell them to use these bloody warhammers. I make them, therefore they will use them. So all I'm doing here is going in to recruit. Down to there, delete, uh, enter, annoyingly, deletes. So enter would delete that. And then you capital W and then a Warhammer and press enter again, which is even more confusing because enter deletes in the first one, but it adds in the second one. I know. It's not the best method of, of how you do things, but hey, I guess it works. I guess it made sense at the time when it was uh, being created. So the it is very confusing. Um, what these little green signs mean on the side here is whether they've actually got the item. So if I go down, you can see they've actually they've all got reasonable metal. However, this guy's not managed to get any metal handware. This guy's not getting handware or a shield, and this guy's missing quite a lot. So that's that's what that means. So that's what it's showing that they're missing uh, various items. So they're going to try and get some stuff. They're actually, I think that one guy was very attached to his sword, so he may tell me to stick it. Um, it's entirely possible, but uh, ah, there we go. So that set that up. What's next? We're getting. Uh, they, I think they're unable to do this guy. I think I think they can't fix him. This guy's resting. Uh, let's have a look at his wounds. Uh, yeah, he's he's hungry actually. He's unconscious and he's hungry. Um, so we, yeah, we're having issues with with those at the moment. Someone's left a bucket there. I mean, is he going to throw up or what? <laughs> There's another bucket left to him as well. So uh, this well should actually be telling me that it's. Uh, I don't need to activate it. I want a K. Um, it should be telling me that there's... Yeah, it's a well, so it's open. Because obviously we've got all this water underneath. You can see it's gone sixes, so they've actually drained it a little bit. But uh, it'll take them quite a while to drain that much water. And if we really want to, if we really get low, we could probably just link it up. No. Link it under there. Uh, so we need to get some thread. Um, had I got any pigtail seeds yet? That's what I wanted to check. Uh, not pigtail seeds, pigtail plants. Uh, no. No, we don't. That's not very good then, is it? Have we got any thread? We don't have any thread at all, I'm guessing, since... No, we've got no thread at all. We've got picked out fibre cloth. I don't want the thread made into the cloth straight away. That seems to be the problem. Um, although I believe that cloth is what I made, rather than what was done. The loom is down here. So, that's not doing anything, and it's not weaving plant thread as default no, no, like no. I thought no. it was. The farmer's workshop is up here and that's not processing plants or anything. So I don't know why we've not got any thread. I'll have to work on that one and figure out why. Uh, so we're going to make a couple more of these blister arrows. You can make them out of anything you want. At the moment I'm only doing wooden since really I've only got wood. Um, although I could probably actually make them out of Let's have a look. Uh, we could do copper. We could do copper blister arrows. I don't know how much damage they do. They probably do a bit more than wood, but I don't suppose they do a great deal. Uh, a great deal more. I'm not sure how much stone. Uh, what sort of stocks have we got with metal? Let's go down to our bars. Uh, ba -ba -ba bars, bars. There it is. Uh, we've got four iron bars, seven silver. So we've got 92 copper bars. So we could start doing something with copper bars, couldn't we? What could we create with a copper bar? So let's have a look at our metalsmith. Um, we could make copper armour. It's not the best armour in the world, but it's better than nothing. Uh, which, really, at the moment, we've got nothing. Um, they were actually short on shields, but I kind of want to keep the shields for the iron. And I only had one piece of iron, didn't I? So not really going to do a fat lot with that. In fact, you know what? I am going to make some copper shields, purely for the fact that, just in case... It's better to have at least a shield than no shield at all, uh, which is what some of these guys have got. Uh, why is that guy fighting? Spinning cedar training spear. Why are you in there? 
I don't know. Uh, I'm also actually going to, you know what, because I've got so much flux stone, I'm actually going to remove the marble off an economic stone. So now I'm going to enable my uh, my people to start using the flux stones. I also want to claim the stone that's there because that was stacked up, wasn't it? We want to use those animal traps at some point, um, but for now I think we can call it a day and our guys are working away. Why have you just pulled me to up here? Cancel suitor, cancel suitor, cancel suitor, cancel suitor. I know there's some guy in my hospital bleeding profusely and I've got not got any thread in the whole goddamn fort to help him. Wow, that food food storage is completely full. Yeah, we've got a lot of food. Lots of food. We don't need to worry about food for a while. We kind of want to start getting possibly our glass going. We, we had a lot of thread, did we not? Stocks. A lot of cloth, sorry. Um, yeah, 204 cloth, I can see there. So maybe we'll get some bags on the go. Let's make a load of pigtail bags. That sounds like a plan. Let's go to our cloth manufacturer, which uh, is these two places here. Um, cloth. Actually, yarn, I believe, pigtail is, isn't it? And we want to make bags. Construct yarn bag and well should we have not repeat no we won't we won't repeat I want on a few of them but I don't want to completely absorb all of my cloth we know what happened last time we uh, had that crazy dude die on us there we go bunch of bunch of bags so what I'm making these bags for is so we can start our glass uh, industry which I will begin now uh, we've already set up our area for the sand, remember, so that's where they're going to collect the sand. So we, now we can tell one of these places to collect sand, and then we'll put that on repeat. So that will start collecting the sand. And once we've got the sand built, we'll start producing... Um, for now, I'm just going to do raw raw green glass, which only requires uh, sand and an element of fuel. If you want to make other glass types, uh, you need... Uh, like rock, the, actually I do believe I have the rock, don't I, the clear rock, um, but I believe there is a bug with it, so perhaps we won't go down that tree just yet. Well, we, I guess we could, just to show you the bug, there's no reason why not for that. No. no. So we can't place something somewhere anyway, but not to worry. So I'm going to continue on my fort. So I've shown you a few little bits. Uh, we'll get the. Uh, I want to get my efficiency a little bit higher and maybe the, stop some of these error messages that we're getting spammed with now. Um, lots of masterpieces being created there. Oh, that must be my my Bowie maybe. He's Edom and he's Thaltig. Oh, it's neither of them. It's Zon. So who's Zon? Who are you, Zon? I'm guessing he's probably one of my crafts guys. Why is it? Oh, the elven caravan's just arrived. Well, there you go. I've got to deal with the elven caravan as well. So, dealing with the elves will take all my concentration. I don't really have many crafts, so I'm probably not going to be able to do a fat lot to this guy. And as you can see, we're actually low on wood. Because we've been burning the stuff. Yeah, the, the whole wood burner's completely empty. We're low on wood there. We need to get cutting wood down. Okay, so I'll go go about and start chopping the forest. I reckon we want D, T, and that whole section over there will do. And I think I'll have this higher level up here. Yeah, it's not, not touched this yet. D, T, we're going to have the whole lot. Bang, there we go. See how you like that, elves. Uh, okay, this is D-Man bringing you, uh, nearly said League of Legends again there, uh, Dwarf Fortress, and it is the Let's Play. I've been a little bit slack because I've been busy, uh, tied up doing other things, but uh, I will try to keep the uh, in issues coming, the episodes going, and try to label them a little better because they've not been labelled that well, but uh, this has kind of been a broad strokes type covering over everything, but it shows you the danger room in action, so now you can see just how stupidly overpowered it already is, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe that will get changed in the uh, future, but there's a lot of things coming. Keep your eyes peeled on Bay 12 and uh, Magma Wiki for any changes that may happen in the next patch, which hopefully, looking like it may be coming soon, but uh, I think it's going to be an adventure mode rather than fortress mode, but no well. Um, those that have asked for the map, actually, um, 
I could probably provide the map for this one, maybe. Um, previous maps I don't actually have because I kind of had a purge before I started this one. So I've deleted pretty much everything so I could concentrate on this one, otherwise I'd just wander too much. Um, uh, any other queries, feel free to leave your comments. Um, of course, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to keep more episodes coming until this fortress completely goes kaput. And after this fortress, maybe we'll start on, uh, I don't know, some crazy location. Uh, and see how it goes there. See, <laughs> just watch how bad I fail or something when in outside of an easy, easy area. But uh, oh well, I'll be back with the next episode soon. Thanks for listening.